Hey everybody, Dr. Shook here. Hope you are doing great today. In today's video, I want to talk about a connection that's very important between vitamin D and cortisol. Now, cortisol is a hormone that your body makes naturally. You may have been prescribed it before as, as a steroid, and it helps to decrease pain, decrease inflammation. But some people take it or they have high cortisol levels on a, on a blood test and they're still exhausted and they're still in pain and they wonder why it's not working. And it's not in your head. You can develop something called cortisol resistance. And this is where a few different, through a few different mechanisms, your body's responsiveness to cortisol goes down. This can be due to elevated cortisol when it's really high over a long period of time and the cortisol in, in the body floods your cells and your cells have these receptors, which is kind of like a docking station where cortisol attaches. And then that signals within the cell the anti-inflammatory effects to occur. If you are constantly saturating the body with cortisol, those, those receptors on the cells can become less sensitive. That's called down regulation. Okay? So chronic inflammation, poor sleep, high stress, uh, uh, different inflammatory triggers, whether it be foods, pathogens, chemicals, uh, poor, poor um, um, immune system regulatory responses that, that result in higher inflammatory load and uh, a, a lower ability to resolve inflammation. These are all really significant and they will, what, what they do ultimately is they cause you to use your vitamin D at a faster rate. One of the mechanisms here. And when, when you use up your vitamin D at a faster rate, you, there's a connection to this glucocorticoid receptor alpha. This is the specific docking station on the cell that I was mentioning. That's where the cortisol attaches to the glucocorticoid receptor alpha, and then that signals the cell to, um, and, and the, the anti-inflammatory benefits. So if that, if that receptor is less sensitive, you don't get those benefits. And there's a direct connection to vitamin D. So if your vitamin D is low and you're metabolizing it faster because of inflammation, then basically you don't get the responsiveness, even though you might have high cortisol in the body or you're taking steroids, but they're not having the same effect. And it comes down to a resistance issue. Now, there's because of this important connection to vitamin D, I just recorded a video. My last video was on this topic you really have to support vitamin D based on blood testing and you need to be addressing the triggers and drivers of the inflammatory pathways, trying to remove those so that you can address the root cause of the poor cortisol resistance so you can get better energy, less pain, and less inflammation. If you have questions, please ask.